What's up guys, Spencer here. We're back with another YouTube video. Um, as always, thanks to uh, Hannah behind the camera. Always making it happen at these races. Uh, this time around, we are racing at the Dirt Nitro Challenge. Um, although it's been very challenging, uh, we got rained out on the big track. We're racing underneath an uh, overpass um, small track. We got a little bit of dirt, got some concrete, got some jumps, bumps, you name it. Um, anyways, this video we're going to be talking about uh, e-truggy, you know, what it's all about, um, why people race it, what's the cool and what's the pros and cons about racing e-truggy. For the most part, for those who are an experienced racer that knows about racing eight scale, um, nitro is kind of the more main classes, but it seems like nowadays e-truggy and e-buggy are getting extremely more popular just because for people that are what that are participants, they don't have pit guys. They just want to charge their cars up and go race in five or 10 minute mains and call it a day. So for those who race those race time races, the dirt nitro challenges, or even local events, um, e-truggy and e-buggy is a very popular class. If you're looking to get into the hobby or have uh, interest, but you don't want to spend the extra money about you know getting an eight scale engine, figuring out what you want to um, how to tune. Although there are many very helpful people in the industry um, that do a very good job of um, making it easy to kind of race. But for this video, I'm going to be showing you my um, RC8. Um, our team associate RC8 T4 e truggy. I got this thing outfitted out with um, uh, my new kind of test out scheme for this weekend. I got the J Concepts brand new um, S15 body. I got J Concepts tires and wheels. These are the recons, which has um, been very popular tire out here. We're able to get the TQ, um, I believe. Uh, sorry, not the TQ. Uh, Dakota ended up winning e buggy with the recons. And um, I start seventh on the grid here, but we won't get to talk about that. We'll hopefully take some podium pictures later. Um, but I'm going to take the body off and kind of just talk to you what e truggy is all about. For the most part, eight scale e truggy is a very large vehicle itself. As you can see, it's basically the size of my upper body. Um, it's extremely heavy um, with the electric vehicles and the power. The power um, ESCs and, mo and motors underneath these things are. Inf infinity amounts of power basically um, way too much power um, for the most part that we get to race on and that's kind of the cool things about racing e truck is kind of you just huck it and you just send it and hopefully it sticks um, I'm sure in, in the video you get to see some footage of us going around the track racing e truggy um, and those 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 big race time events with the huge 40 foot triples and doubles um, it's extremely fun <laughs> But I want to show you kind of guys underneath the hood of what I got going on here. This is like I said, the all new team associated um, RC8 T4. I, so now that we got the body off, we'll talk about the power plant, about the e truggy um, One of the most important things is having really reliable electronics. Um, obviously, um, I'm Hobby Wing Driver is one of the best electronics out on the market that's really reliable, withstand tons of heat and all different kinds of conditions under a lot of load. Um, obviously with these big truck tires, things can get really hot really fast, especially when you run, um, you know, eight to 10 minute or 12 minute mains. Um, so this is the XR8 plus speed control. I have got the, for the motor is the um, Hobby Wing 2250 truck motor. Um, I got this, this thing geared at a 46, 14 tooth pinion and um, but that's just depending on kind of track size. I don't have a motor fan on it. It's extremely cold out here. It's been about 40 degrees. So we try to take weight pretty seriously when it comes to racing um, these vehicles because with the electronics, the two batteries, it's extremely heavy. Um, working our way over to the servo, I got the Salvax SB2290 Monster Servo. I'll have this outfitted with all my racing equipment stuff. 
In the receiver box, I got the Fataba receiver. As you can see, um, with RC8 T4E um, kit, it comes with the longer trays to run uh, longer packs. Um, I've chosen to run the shorty packs, which are the buggy trays. So I kind of upgraded um, as a different option to run the buggy trays and put them all the way forward just to keep the weight um, closer together. Um, obviously you can see you can move the weight um, forward or back for different kind of conditions. Here this weekend I've been chosen to run it more forward. Um, kind of going over here um, with the truck itself, uh, the front suspension, I have the carbon plates just to um, add more rigidity to the um, A-arms for less flex. And as you can see, I'm gonna flip the Truggy over. I have the carbon plates top and bottom in the back, or front and back. As you can see the front here. Um, one of the things I wanted to discuss is the batteries for the different kind of conditions. Um, for those who are wanting to just absolutely have good and the most run time running the kit battery trays, running the, the longer stick packs to have more run time can be beneficial if you just want to drive your vehicle. Sometimes when you run these kind of vehicles, it takes so much power um, from the battery. It can be really damaging on the cells. So keep in mind when you are... are doing a lot of um, e-buggy or e-truggy running to make sure your batteries don't go too low. Um, I don't run the, the protect protection voltage cutoff just because, um, you know, we're really, you know, conscious about how much we're running, how long we're running. Um, so that's kind of one of the things to keep in mind. Um, the whole purpose about this extra class um, e-truggy uh, this weekend for running the Dirt Nitro Challenge is just getting more track time. It's been very limited to these style of races. Um, I actually been asked a lot from many drivers and customers about um, setup for the e-truggy and just this is just another way for me to help bring input for those people um, that are wanting some more uh, knowledge about what to do um, because it, the vehicles are much different the nitro vehicles are a lot lighter they don't have as much power there's more wheel spin the diff setups a little bit different the shock setups a little bit different and um, I'm able to kind of dial in my electronics um, settings to make it kind of feel super smooth and easy to drive. So for those who are out there interested in getting into another class, um, e-truggy is an excellent way to kind of um, dip, you know, get your feet a little bit wet, um, have some fun out there with your buddies, and um, you know, it's just another class to have fun with. Um, for those who are watching this video and have any um, questions about the e-truggy, we're going to have a setup sheet after this weekend posted. And uh, once again, guys, hopefully this video um, answers some questions. Pretty cool to see a lot of the pro guys racing this weekend e-truggy. It's more of like the whatever class is what they call it. But we're taking it serious this weekend. We're going to be racing it at Silver State. I may race it at the race time races, um, but we'll see. So... Thanks again, guys, for tuning in. For those who are watching, my name is Spencer Rifkin. Those, for those who don't know who I am, um, give it a video, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.